Good morning, I'm Michael from Moat Monster Gaming, and if you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. This is the Black Series Star Wars Andor set, and I don't know whether you've seen it, but I totally recommend it. Andor is, to me, the best bit of Star Wars we've had in years. Star Wars for grown-ups, it was smart, it was clever, it was incredibly well-acted, Shakespearean Star Wars. It was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, and one of my all-time favourites from the show, um, he's right there from the start, Bemo, this kind of tiny little robot. And this, at the time, it's the only way you can get him unless he's been announced or released and I've never noticed him. But here he is. So I'm going to open them both. Um, I'm assuming it's going to slide out. This box is gorgeous, though very, very black. And no picture on the back. But we've got a little picture of Bemo on the side and a little picture of, whoa, Cassian Andor that side. So it's a bit unwieldy. It's actually quite a big box. So I've already pre-cut the side, so I should just hopefully be able to pull them out. There we go. So there's Bemo, a very scruffy little robot. And there's Cassian Andor. So straight away, packaging still a bit, bit bland, but still it's open fronted, so you can now see exactly what it looks like. You can see a little eye peeking through. I'm not sure whether they're going to come with that much in the way of accessories. There you go. He's got a little gun. So Cassian Andor's got a little gun at the top, trench coat. Not sure on the face, but then I'm I'm never sure on the human faces. On things, I think that's why I prefer the alien characters, but certainly his clothes look great. So I will start with this guy because I have been looking forward to opening them for a while. So uh, it's probably taken me a minute to work out how to do it. I'll be back. Okay, so here, here they are. So what have we got movement wise? So So it kind of all extends up. Okay, all right, so how high can it go? Okay, all right, so we get a little bit of height as well. And actually these bits of height all have articulation. So they also move, these, these bar bits move. So you can pose, I know it's a square block, but you get a little bit of a tilting effect, which means you can have them looking up and give the illusion of tilting as well. So, I mean, it is just basically a cube with a little eye. But I knew that, and I like, I like them for what they look like in the, in the show. So lots of dirty marks all the way around because it's supposed to be an old beat up model. Uh, Different colour one here, because I assume this one's been replaced at some point in the show. But yeah, no, looks really good. And it'll look fine with the rest of my robots on my robot shelf. Let's put Bemo there for a second. So now I'll open up this guy. Okay, so here they are. Um, arms move nicely. Coat is great. Coat, coat is great. I actually think it looks quite a Blade Runner-y sort of coat. Um, ah. Oh, Arms move very, very nicely. Both of them do. Got some great turn in here. Uh, hands don't go backwards and forwards as much as I would like, but it's because he's got big, big cuffs here preventing a bit of arm turning. Um, clothes inside look good. Very, very detailed. Sort of like little tools on the side. Uh, how well do the knees go though? Yeah, knees go good. Knees go good. Wonder how easy he's going to be to crouch. So nice, dirty looking character, scruffy like in the show. Let's have a look at the head. Looks close enough. I wouldn't say it looks, I've got figures that look closer to what they should look like, but I would say looks close enough. But also I would say you could use him as somebody else in another show or a game that you wanted to do um, without anybody jumping out saying, oh, look, that's Cassian Andor's head. So the little pistol here, I think is quite cool. Again, I think it looks a bit like something that you'd get Blake Deckard using in Blade Runner, but that's quite cool. And 
we've got trigger finger so it fits in nicely. No holster or anything, nowhere to to put it when he's not when he wants to conceal it. But I must say, he does look does look good. Will look good posing on the shelf. So there there they are. BMO and Cassian Endor, thank you very much for looking. Take care. Ugh. <sighs>